Economics is too difficult for the average person to understand. It's to keep decision-making power out of his or her hands. Of course, that ain't my idea of a good economy. I believe that because economics affects everyone, it should be understood by everyone. We're gonna break it down to the basics. We're gonna call it for what it really is. So for anyone who thinks, like I once did, that all this economics talk is probably gonna to be too much to comprehend, you only need to know one thing. An economy ain't nothing but a recipe. That's right, an economy ain't nothing but a recipe. There's what you put in, what you get out, and how you cook it. Class is almost got to go. Check the chorus coming up from below, from below. Telling all what we know will be in a breath. When the well is just over, yo, it's class dismissed. Class is almost got to go. No more food chain running the show, running the show. So for all those who've been getting their ass rich, get the ring the bell. Time's up, I said it's class dismissed. The old class ain't just about cash. Let me explain where the good property's only one link in the food chain. Who makes your schedule? Who signs your test? Who writes the laws? Who places the ads? Who runs your show? Or who show you run? Or what classes are below? What classes above? Labor competition relies on division. What groups allied to monopolize decisions? Some status and title to work and working conditions Self-management's proportionate to bargaining position We all for unity, but not in the service of class Or one group, where's the head and another the ass Big shots and big knots, what kind of pull you got? When it's all about the ladder, it's all about your spot And don't forget, power's just as much about info That's why those who hold the cards know to hold them close Keeping us in the dark, keeps expectations low And low self-esteem don't demand much dough Fuck that, yo, it's time we come together as equals From every capital building to every shiny church A steeple, I holler out loud, we tired of class of war People need a plan that ensures People adores people in the economy with choices that don't ignore people of vision and gender Restore people's faith in one another Where we don't see each other as the other Every woman is a sister, every man a brother Just remember classism ain't the lastism The food chain employs all kinds of isms From race, gender, sexual preference and more Economics is only one door we breaking down Class is almost got to go Check the chorus coming up from below, from below Telling all what we know will be in a breath When the well is just over, yo, it's class this myth yeah, I know what you're thinking, so before it's too late, listen up, and let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing straight. We reject the communism over market is simply playing socialism. We reject capitalism in all its forms. We reject green competition as the norm. I said we reject communism over market is simply playing socialism. We reject capitalism in all its forms. We reject the social you're against it, but what are you for? Well, now any good cook knows that if you're creating a recipe from scratch, you don't start at the beginning. You start at the end. You ask yourself, what do I want out of this dish? What is it that I want to be experienced when I'm done cooking? Well, in economics we ask, what are the values we want to see in a good economy? And in a par econ, the four basic values that we want to be experienced are equity, solidarity, self-management, and diversity. You ain't gotta have a PhD. Yo, you ain't gotta have a master's degree. You ain't even gotta have a GED to understand work. 
and getting paid what you work. So what you worth? What's the equity we talking about? Or what's the standard to measure how much we get out? Well, what's the one thing you got control over? It's your work, your heart, because you the sole owner. So when they ask how much pie is a fair slice, it's only fair if it's tied to effort and sacrifice. Sing it, effort and sacrifice. That's the price, baby, effort and sacrifice. That's the price, that's the effort and sacrifice. That's the price, baby, effort and sacrifice. About the 20% of workers who run the show for those at the top. Those who get paid more for doing work that is more empowering and or more desirable. We're not saying that these are bad or evil people, we're just identifying class structure. If we intend to have a classless society, we must first identify what makes up class. Of course, a lot of people associate class with money and power, but often class can be just as much a matter of who does what. Luckily, who does what is our next basic food group question, and the answer is our next main ingredient, an economic institution we call a balanced job complex. In simple terms, it's just you and I doing a fair mix of tasks at work, where some aren't just doing the more desirable stuff, while the rest are left to do all the shit work. In a balanced job complex, the diversity in our jobs balances out, so there's not this huge gap in the quality of our work life. Job complex is a balanced mix of tests. No corporate division or labor, no reproducing class. A balanced job complex is a balanced mix of tests. Well, the quality of our work lives in one bullshit. Who calls the shots? If there are no individual owners of productive property, then who calls the shots as it pertains to the use of productive property? The answer to which is actually our first main ingredient, our first economic institution, worker and consumer councils. Instead of some grand food chain of money and power dictating the use of resources, Parecon allows ordinary people to deliberate in relatively small councils in order to decide what is best for their community. Services and goods ain't figured at the top of the level of neighborhoods through councils. Basically, just democratic groups where every member has a say and the right to choose according to the impact decisions have on them. And if there ain't no impact, then your voice ain't in it. We start with groups of size and maybe 20 families with each council. Part of a bigger community in the larger council represents the councils within when choices in one affect more than just their members. So, wait, slow down. Let me get this straight. Councils within councils? How is that not a food chain? Well, check it. Just think of councils like birds in the nest. And now the little nests are part of a bigger nest. And the bigger nest is part of an even bigger one. And so on, and so on, and so on. There's only two basic food group questions left. There's who gets what and how prices are set. Now, in economic terms, these two questions address what we call allocation. And in a capitalist economy, these two questions are left to what they call the market. So what's our alternative? Well, many assume that we're looking toward a centrally planned economy like in the Soviet Union, but we're not. Remember, we're looking to avoid the food chain. We're looking to avoid a class of coordinators. Instead of institutions that embrace top-down vertical power, participatory economics opts for a system of horizontal power where each person or group has a say proportionate to how the decision affects them. Through the institution of participatory planning, we allow nested worker and consumer councils to cooperate and negotiate the best use for resources. Yeah, 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 look, uh, it sounds good and all, but um, how does it work? In a poor econ, supply and demand, all starts with the rounds of planning. We're round one, it's kind of like a wish list made up of worker and consumer requests with each list kit to other councils of Journey 
there should have be setbacks. That's why critical assessment is part of the mission. And each year, the planning process gets more efficient. We take the good stuff and leave the bad behind. Experiment in the cooking, getting better over time. Checking history so it ain't left to repeating. In the system that don't leave much room for cheating, cause ain't no profit. Except for the profit of social good, a real democracy where it only pays to do what you should. Now, a common problem we encounter when we start talking about participatory economics is that too often people are followers of Tina. In other words, they've been taught that when it comes to capitalism, there is no alternative, T-I-N-A. But see, we're here to let y'all know that there is an alternative, and that T-I-N-A bullshit is dead. Who tells us what we know? Who benefit from the status quo? I'm telling those who get incentive to ignore it. Either afraid of the change or too scared to fight for it. So instead they tell us that it's human nature to be selfish and greedy. Killing each other for paper, but I ain't buying it. I know the human race can do better. And if you know history, you know ain't nothing forever. Yeah, power holds control through ignorance and fear. But there is an alternative in this right here. Now it's up to you to get out there and start cooking. Try out your own dishes and support others in the kitchen. This is where we get to be creative and learn from our mistakes and share our experiences. So please, study on this vision and spread the word. This is a recipe we should all know. So when the time is right, everybody's ready to participate. Sometimes it brings a tear when I hear John Lennon singing, Imagine, but yo, imagine. Imagine all the people not imagining shit but making it happen But while you too busy napping, they working hard to keep you asleep This shit is deep, what did he say? This shit is deep, I think he's right, this shit is deep But not a deep enough that you can't climb out The moderates wanna call a timeout and ask for more time for reform Figure how to conform the new boss to the old They maintain institutions and they maintain control don't get me wrong, I ain't dissing reform outright Reform matters in the now Real people's lives, it means relief And relief from suffering ain't no joke But the reform must be revolutionary in scope But we focus on the disease, not just the symptoms We gotta be forward looking and then some And yo, I ain't gonna lie Know that if you take a stand Get ready to be the boogeyman, the boogeyman Just like Martin King, they will call us communists They will call us criminals, troublemakers, terrorists But Lord forgive them, they know not what they say Power always reacts its way to structural change. So when they insist on calling us names, tell them if it's all the same. They can call us party canos, buddy canistas. Please don't meet ya. Coming with that rhymes, it needs to reach ya. Singing P-A-R-E-C-O-N. That's the vision we want to live in. We'll never give in party canos, buddy canistas. Please don't meet ya. Coming with that rhymes, it needs to reach ya. Revolution.